What's going on, Adalo community? It's Mario Flawless from Templar Design, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add an update app pop up in your app. Let's jump right in. Today's request comes from Grant Woods and Briggsy. Grant Woods wants to know how to add an update pop-up in the app to make people update the app. So let me show you exactly how it's done. This is the app we're gonna be working on today. This is a, a real simple app, but I'm gonna just show you how to get this update app button to appear as a pop-up when there's a new app update available. All right, so the first thing you want to do is jump into your database and create a new collection called app versions. Add a number parameter called version number. You don't need any other parameters in the collection. So for this example, I added app version number 100, 100. That's gonna be the first app version I submit to the store, 1.0.0, but just for display purposes and keeping everything nice and simple, I'm putting 100. Under your user collection, add a number parameter and call it current app version. This is gonna show us exactly which app version the user is currently running on. So when a user first signs up, now remember, we, our app version right now is app version 100, 100. So when a user first signs up, I'm gonna set the current app version automatically to one zero zero, okay? And then on my loading splash screen, I have a timer here that updates the user to one zero zero. Now, once the user lands on the home screen, I just dropped in an action button right here. And this action button is gonna be the pop-up that we see when there's a new app update available. We want to change the visibility of this action button to sometimes visible if all app versions version number maximum is not equal to the logged in user current app version. So you get that from app versions, version number, maximum. Okay, is not equal to logged in user current app version. Now that'll display the action button only when there is a new app update available. You can add a link to a website. Now here's where it gets fun. We don't know what device the user is using in this app specifically. We don't know if they're on an Android or if they're on an iPhone. So we don't know whether to direct them to, to the Apple App Store or to Google Play. So what I use is one link. So with one link, you can create a link to one of your apps and include the URLs to the different app stores. And this will automatically detect which device the user is using and send them to the correct store. So I will just use like, let's say this is my add to list app. This is the one link. I would copy the one link URL and paste it into the website URL bar here. And I would set this to not use the in-app browser. That way it will force open the Play Store or the apps, Apple App Store. Now the last thing I need to show you here is how to add new updates to the app. So whenever you're ready to create a new build for the app, you have to edit your sign up form and update this number to a higher value. So let's say we're working on a new update. We're ready to create the builds. We'll set this to 101. And we will also set our countdown timer, update user, to 101. After you do that, you can create your build. All right, so you'd create your build here. You'd create your build here and you would submit it to the stores. Once your app is approved in both stores,
stores. Now this is important. Only after it, the update has been approved in the stores, then you would add a new app version to your database. So you would click the app versions and do version number 101. And then you would click done. All right, so I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna just change this back to 100 really fast. Okay, and I'm gonna switch this sign up form back to 100 also, just since since this is, I'm, I'm still on version 100. I haven't updated the app yet. All right, so let me refresh this here. Now this sets it to 100. We have only 100 in the database. No update app icon. Okay, so jumping into the database, let's pretend that we just submitted a brand new app version to the store. We're going to add app version 101. All right, now let's go check it out. And there it is. There's the update app button. And that's how you do it. That's how you add an update app pop-up to your Adalo mobile app. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at www.templar.design.